Hi Scorpio, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your September 4th through September 10th weekly love reading. This is intended to be a love reading. We will see what comes up. This may or may not uh, resonate with you because I can't read every single person. Happiness. Happy family. I did pre-shuffle these three times with the bridge before I turned on the, the camera. Looks like you're pretty satisfied and happy right now, Scorpio. I mean, that's what it looks like to me for many of you. Okay, this is satisfied and this is happy. So it looks really, really good, like you're satisfied and happy this week. You could have a Leo in your life. Um, I see that you're very aware, you know, with a magician card, you're very aware. I just think that there's a lot of happiness. I think something has been left behind that was probably holding you back, some kind of emotional attachment to somebody that has been definitely holding you back and and causing you some inner strife okay but I don't think that's happening anymore because I think that this week um, it looks, looks very good it does I think that you have let go of something in hopes of or not in hopes but because you you have feelings for somebody You've let go of something that was holding you back emotionally in the name of love for somebody else. Because you lost somebody, okay? So that's what I'm trying to say. This is a love reading. Somebody, you've, you were, <laughs> it's hard to explain. It looks like you were um, emotionally committed to somebody, okay? But now that's over and you've really, really cut it out. All right, you really cut it out of your of your life, or you're going to this week. This is not extending love to somebody anymore, okay? But this is, okay? So I see that you have stopped being emotionally connected to somebody, but you are emotionally connected to somebody else, somebody that you have a mutual attraction with. There's a lot of chemistry okay it's somebody that you can work as a team with somebody probably that you have known for a very long time somebody that um, brings you stability and security um, there's definitely somebody from the past there's somebody from the past in your life could be a Leo could be a Gemini could be a Libra could be an Aquarius um, I see Gemini a couple times. Could be, you know, I'm going to stop right there because this is the Earth sign, but it's the Nine of Pentacles. But she's so close to being the Queen that I consider it a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, I think that some truth has came out. We do have Virgo again right here. Um, some truth has came out that has made you feel grateful seriously has made you feel grateful for where you are now and i think that you have emotionally left somebody behind because there's somebody else that you have a very mutual attraction with where you can really be a team player all right there was another choice and you went in another direction okay i see that there's a lot of happiness a lot of awareness um, there's not looking back at the past anymore. That's over with and you and you feel that. Okay, I think that you're very satisfied where you are right now and happy. This is for Scorpio. If you're single, you could have somebody new coming in. It could be a Gemini. You have Gemini of like three times. Then you have Libra and Aquarius twice. You have Virgo. Um, you have Leo twice. So.
any difficulties that you are having, I think they are over. Any uh, emotional connected difficulties where you were, if you were connected to something emotionally and you couldn't break free, I think you have finally broken free. Okay, it took some time of going within to do that. But I think you're honoring your own path, which is bringing you a lot of happiness. You are deeply connected to somebody. You are. It could be a, a Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. It could be a Capricorn as well. All right. Ooh. Couple of threes. You know, there is a soulmate connection here. There definitely is. With with the devil, the lovers, and the two of cups, there's definitely a soulmate connection here. Could be with a Capricorn, could be with a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius. But it looks like there's there's it's like, there's like a rebirth, okay, of a relationship. So it looks really good. It looks like very happy. It's just a very happy, happy week. Um, Scorpio, I think there's somebody that you might be reconnecting with from the past that you have been waiting to reconnect with for a while. All right. I think that there's been a lot of little battles and now you have learned a lot and they are behind you and now you seriously have a partner that could be your soulmate. I think you are so, so close to... Um, any strife, any, I think you may still have a little bit of um, connectedness somewhere or a little bit of an emotional imbalance, but you're so, so close to not having it anymore. All right. I think, I see that you're very grateful for all that you have right now. All right. There's definitely a very high sexual attraction between you and somebody. Um, there's, there could be some addictions or some obsessions. Um, maybe there's somebody that's not accepting love. I mean, you, maybe there's somebody who's interested in you and you're not interested in them or vice versa. Okay. This devil card, there's, there's some kind of addiction or, you know, can mean so many things or there's a bond that's unbreakable between you and somebody else, especially with this, this, and this. All right. I mean, you could have a choice between two people. Or your partner could have a choice between two people because of these threes right here. You know, there could be, you know, a third party situation in, or there was a third party situation, but that's over now because we have these two endings right here. That is definitely over now. You're so close to this happily ever after. You really, really are. Um, there's a lot of attraction, a lot of attraction between you and another person. It's either a Capricorn or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Like I said, we have a few other ones, but I think it's a Capricorn or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this is for Scorpio, September 4th through the 10th. Ooh. Beautiful. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. You've left somebody behind because of a new attraction. And I think that this week, that attraction is just probably really coming to a to a high level with that devil card right underneath. I think there's a lot of passion and a lot of attraction. And maybe it's even a time to celebrate. that new love is and it could be a resurgence of a relationship that brings happiness whereas before somebody wasn't accepting it and maybe they are now getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens that's with your Leo Aries or Sagittarius person or somebody with a lot of fire in their chart don't be scared of your of your baggage okay don't be scared of your baggage whatever it is you think you don't have to offer don't don't worry about that <laughs> healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents you have mastered a lot you have accomplished a lot you have learned a lot realize that okay healing family issues maybe from your childhood there's some healing that needs to be done. That card comes up for a reason. A 
I think that you have been preparing for um, this union right here with somebody. You've been preparing for it. Maybe you're going to get engaged. Or married. There's a lot of happiness. That's for darn sure. And satisfaction in your wishes being fulfilled. You know, when I see a celebration, people coming together. You know, working as a team for sure. Oh, I thought we had another. We do. Your prayers have been answered. We have three threes. Your prayers have been answered. That's what threes mean. So this is something that you have been praying for. That's what you, you've been preparing for. You've been praying for it. And I think it's something, it's starting to come to fruition. What you've been praying for. I think your prayers are being answered. I think that there's somebody that you knew when you were younger. Okay? Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. By living in the now. Not living in the past. Okay? Now. Living in the now. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Oh, that's within yourself. Healing family issues. Right next to this, pay attention to the red, red flags. Be grateful for all that you have because that's what she does. Remember to be grateful. Also, this right here, this person can have kind of a big ego because they have so much love and they... They 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 might get you know big head because of it. That's a red flag as well. So just take heed. You know. Wedding. Oh, didn't I say something about a marriage? I think I did. This situation involves marriage. Your if you are in a relationship, your your relationship could be stepping up a notch. If you're not in a relationship, this person might come into your life. Could be a Gemini. Could be. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We do have Libra and Aquarius too. Um, that's what I see. So I don't, I don't think I need to go any further. I think that's what I have for the week of um, September fourth through September tenth, and I will talk to you later.